Hi guys, today I have a favourites video for you. I haven't done a favourites video before, so I thought I'd just share with you the things that I've been loving this month. Um, so I'll just get started. The first thing that I've been loving this month is the Ren Clarifying Clay Cleanser, which I actually bought this quite a while ago and I've been using it pretty much every other day been using this and a tea tree cleanser from the body shop um, just because I think my skin has been a bit sensitive recently and I find this to be really gentle um, this is aimed at blemish prone skin which is what I have and I do think it's made my skin quite a lot clearer and also it smells lovely you only need to use one pump of this every night um, or in the morning, so it's lasted me ages. I think it was about, I think it was about nineteen pounds, which isn't cheap. But as I said, it's been lasting me absolutely ages, and I do think this is something I would repurchase. So yeah. The next thing that I've really been loving this month are the Maybelline Colour Sensational lipsticks. This is nine oh six Hot Plum, which is a beautiful pink colour. And this is like a bright purpley toned pink. Featured this lipstick in a favourites blog post a little while back, but I've just been using it so often I just had to include it. And I just absolutely love the formula of these. I think they're really soft and smooth to apply, they're really moisturising. So based on the fact that I love this one so much, I went um I bought 547, which is called Pleasure Me Red, and that's a deep true red and I haven't really used this one that much because I wouldn't wear this to work I don't think I don't think like deep red is really appropriate for work the other lipstick that I'm absolutely loving at the moment is this Topshop one which is really battered because I keep this in my pocket at work because this is just my go-to shade for work. Normally I like to wear quite dark eye makeup as you can probably tell, wear a lot of eyeliner so for work I tend to go for more of a nude lip unless I'm feeling the pink. Um, and It's a bit gross because I have used this a lot. It's kind of a dark nudey rosy colour which for me, I mean I really st have struggled to find a nude shade that suits me, that doesn't make me look washed out and like gaunt and because I'm so pale I just think natural colours don't tend to suit me but this is just the perfect mix of a nude with just that warmth of a pink so I absolutely love this and this is the shade Devotion so I will be buying this as soon as it runs out because it's just a perfect everyday lip colour and Topshop lipsticks, I just love the formula of them again, like the Maybelline one, they're really like creamy and nourishing, um, so yeah, I love this. Um, I have a couple of hair care bits, the first one is this um, Revlon Coconut Unique One All in One Hair Treatment, which is quite a mouthful. Um, I got this at the Catalyst PR Autumn Winter Preview. We all got given like a big Revlon Professional goodie bag and there was loads of hair care in there. Um, I've given all of it a go and the one thing that's really stood out to me is this. I've mostly been using this on days when I straighten my hair. Now, I don't straighten my hair very often. Well I kind of had a break from heat styling my hair because I just found that it makes my hair so frizzy that I just can't stand it. I normally let it just air dry which takes like three or four hours but I find my hair just feels so much better for it so I kind of took a break from my straighteners and my curling irons or anything but just recently since I got my hair cut and got the layers put back in I have kind of gone back to straightening it a bit and I like to use this beforehand because it has like the heat protection in it I also use this sometimes just after I've washed my hair and I do find that it makes my hair so soft um, it's easier to brush. I mean I can't really comment on the colour protection or 
lengthening of my hair stop because I don't do a lot with my hair really I just like to let it be free but yeah it's just I feel like it's improved the health of my hair it feels a bit softer and a bit more smooth so I'm gonna have to buy this I think when it runs out I mean this is 150ml so it's quite a big bottle so I imagine this lasting me ages but yeah, and it smells really good. It smells like coconut. Now I hate the taste of coconut, but I quite like the smell of coconut. Um, and it's quite a nice creamy scent, so yeah. The second hair care product that I've been absolutely loving is the Kerastase um, K-Spray Up Water from L'Oreal. Um, this is supposed to give you like a two-spot effect, give you like, if you've got waves, just add a bit more of a natural wave to your hair. Now. I do use a lot of salt spray, well I, I did use a lot of salt spray to get like that two salt effect but I found that it was just drying my hair out so much and I had to find an alternative and this is perfect, so good. I spray this on my hair like just after I've washed it and my hair's quite, it's not necessarily wavy but it's got waves to it I suppose but this just encourages it that little bit more to go super wavy when I've washed it and I always find that it dries so much nicer when I've applied this it smells really good and I think this is about £21 so again it's not cheap but I'm going to have to repurchase it because I just love what it does to my hair and I have had people comment um, at work and things about the fact that my hair is really wavy recently and it's like yeah because I've been using this which is perfect. So if you're using a salt spray and you're finding that it's drying your hair out and making it feel just a bit bitty on the ends then something like this would be a perfect alternative because it doesn't have any salt or anything in it. I don't know how it works. I don't know how it makes my hair wavy but it does so I'm gonna keep using it. Um, next up I have a fragrance and this is possibly my all time favourite fragrance, well, I think it's a tie between this um, and Elisab, which I absolutely love. Um, and it's the Paco Rabanne Lady Million, which is so good. I mean, I don't, I'm terrible at describing fragrances, and I don't know what's in it, I just know that I love it. Oh, it's just so good. I really love this for night time. I don't wear it that much in the day, I wear it more at night and I, I love the fact that this really lasts. It's quite a strong scent and it really lasts. Like As much as I love my Marc Jacobs perfumes and I have a lot of them, I do find that about two hours after I've applied them I can't really smell them anymore. So for that reason this has become my go-to for when I go out on an evening or for dinner or anything. The last makeup item that I have is my MAC palette which is nearly full. I just have three more spaces which as it's mega week soon or it might have already happened by the time I post this video um, at work I probably will buy three new shades to fill it up but there are a couple of shades specifically that I've absolutely been loving so I just thought I'd share those with you. Um, the first one is this one which is Amber Lights which I used in my recent video which was a high-end makeup look. I've been wearing this loads recently because I find it's such an easy shade to wear and it's so perfect for autumn and winter. It's such a warm goldy colour. It's just lovely and I do find sometimes some of the MAC eyeshadows can be a bit hard, like um, what's this one called? Is this Sketch? I think. Oops. Yeah, but Sketch, and I haven't used it that much because it's gone really hard, so I can't get much pigment off it. But with Amber Lights, it's such a like um, a soft buttery formula that it just applies really smoothly and really pigmented. So I've been loving that one and I've also been loving Wedge, which is that one, which 
For days when I just want a more natural look, I love wedge because, I mean on most people it would probably be more like a base colour, but for me it's just dark enough to add like, just a suggestion of colour to my eyelids, and then sometimes I'll use a little bit of mulch just in the corners to add a little bit of depth, um, and that one's mulch. But those are the three shades that I've been using the most recently and I've absolutely been loving my MAC eyeshadows. Obviously they're not cheap and I try not to think about how much money it has cost me to make this palette. But I just like the fact that I've been able to pick the colours that I specifically want. Because I do find a lot of the times when I pick a palette there are going to be two or three shades that I won't really use and I think it's such a shame like... I don't want to repurchase the palette when there's like three full eyeshadows in there. So I like the fact that I can just chop and change this one and pick exactly which colours I like. And when one runs out, you can just replace it. So, yeah, I've been loving that. So those are all my favourites for this month. Um, if there's anything specifically that you've been loving that you think I'd like, just let me know in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please give me a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel as I will be posting videos every week on a Thursday hopefully. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching and goodbye!